Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a rain barrel out of a garbage can. I think we're going to set the drip barrel here. I'm going to have one going this way to these trees and then um, the other side of the Y will feed, well, we'll water these trees here and then these trees over here. So we got that all set up, the water's working great. Um, it's got plenty of gravity pushing that water out pretty hard, so I think it'll work and it will go through all the drip tubing that we're gonna be setting up. So we're gonna put this lid on here. We're gonna use some Gorilla Tape or Flex Seal Tape. Um, I'm gonna cut a hole here and we're gonna use some mesh. And we're also gonna put the Flex Seal Tape around that. That way some water can get in this, but this is mainly for us to Pour the five gallon jugs of water in this just so that we can make sure that all these quakies are going to make it so we'll just keep doing that until it gets cool enough to where we don't have to worry about that and the quakies will get big enough probably maybe a year hopefully to where we won't have to keep doing this so um during the winter we won't have to because obviously there will be some water so i pulled that quarter inch drip tubing and i've got it lined all along this whole ridge with all these trees and I'm just going to let it lay out for a minute because it's super curly and I need it to flatten out. It just needs to sit in the sun. Up this rain barrel I've got linked below. I'll also have every single thing that I use linked in that. Um, I think that'll help a lot. That would have helped me a lot to figure out how to set this up. So yeah. So we just ordered Starlink and before we had no service at all. There's no way we could call or text or anything. And now we've got the Starlink hooked up and it works amazing. Facebook, we have, we can see our comments, we can get on our email, our Google Sheets, everything. So we're super excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on. Sorry, it's a little loud. We have the generator running because it's so hot, but as soon as I put this on, I'll show you. Hopefully you can see. It opens up. And then when I turn it off, it closes. So I'm going to turn that on and we're going to run the system, make sure that the water comes through and everything works. And then I'm going to put it to 30 minutes. Um, the little um, irrigation things that I put in are one gallon per hour. I'm gonna get a half, I'm gonna do 30 minutes, so I'm gonna do a half gallon every hour. I'm gonna do it every three days because they seem pretty wet. The trees seem pretty wet from watering yesterday. So, okay, so this one here, um, it's got these, these mean that they're open. this to this and then we'll hook it to the barrel system. And then stick them in.
It'd be best to use Teflon tape on all these, um, but I don't have it with me right now. But if I need to go back and put it on later, I can. I've got everything set up. I've got it going two ways, and I've got a bunch of lawn stakes to hold them all in. Got it going that way. Got it going that way. Got it going clear over to those other trees back there. And we're gonna go ahead and open these up and see how it works. So these are both open. This is already on. Check over here. This is kind of where I'm worried about hoping that it gets this far. Water. No water. No water. So these ones that are going up the hill, I think. I'll zoom out on this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I need to run this cord, this uh, tubing the other way because we're going downhill. So I'm going to come bring this this way and go around down there. That should help that problem. And I'm going to do the same thing over there um, with the one over in the corner. That also wasn't working because it was up on the top of the hill. So other than that, I think we're good.